हेलो कोटर वेलकम टू डेव बाइट स्कूल डे नाइन सेशन ऑफ मास्टरिंग इन स्प्रिंग बोर्ड ओके सो इन दिस सेशन वी फोकसिंग ऑन अ सर्विस लेयर ओके सो सर्विस लेयर इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर राइटिंग अ बिजनेस लॉजिक ओके सो इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अब ऑन अ रिपोजिटरी लेयर सो वी आर यूजिंग दिस रिपोजिटरी लेयर ऑल दो क्वेरीज वी आर क्रिएटिंग नेम क्वेरीज वी आर यूजिंग इन दिस क्लासेस ओके सो लेट सी हाउ मच मैथड्स वी रिक्वायर टू फुलफिल आवर रिक्वायरमेंट ओके so first we have a blog entity then we have a comment entity okay then we have a user entity okay we will take user entity in uh, future videos when we implement spring security and uh, with uh, J jwt and or 2.0 so in this session we focusing on a uh, blog and uh, comment uh, entity okay so blog have overall uh, five methods one is like uh, save uh then one is update okay then one is delete blog okay and then one is a get blog so whenever any uh, any user search any uh, article okay so you need to get this blog so for that get blog over there and another method is get blogs uh when the user logging to our ad ad admin panel okay and user uh, know like how much user uh, how how many blogs user is created for that we can use this method okay and in comment basically we have add comment and uh, update comment method okay then we have delete the comment particular comment and we need to sh show number of comments for the particular block so for that we have a get comments method okay so let's uh, go to eclipse okay and uh, let's create this uh, two uh, service classes and uh, try to write this business logic okay so so in service package just click on new uh, java class and write uh, blog service okay blog service so in blog service uh, first method we have uh, so first of all we need to annotate our service class with uh, service annotation okay so it's give uh, idea to a spring uh container uh, this is particular basically service class okay and then whatever jpa we are we, we are created okay so we need to uh, use that over here so we have a blog uh, a repository and just uh, give one annotation which is auto wired okay so auto wired basically use for uh, injecting the beans and um, uh, handle the life cycle of bean so basically uh, here we we give control to a spring uh to uh, create a beans and uh destroy the beans and whatever depends in the require for that particular being inject that so we just focusing on business logic and a spring will take care all those stuff okay so first write our first method which is um um which is like uh, create blog so the re return type is basically void over there uh sorry blog over there okay blog and here create blog okay and uh, input uh, for this is basically a blog okay so just use a blog repository and um, click on save and just pass a blog entity okay uh so basically like we are not uh, handling exception over there basically we uh, we give we throw our exception to our uh, parent um, controller and control will handle that okay so we will write our custom exception uh in a control layer okay so basically uh it's, it, it return a blog entity just we return that okay uh just copy the same stuff okay and uh, just enter over there and uh just create update blog okay update blog method and after that what we have let's see so after that we have a delete blog and uh, get by i blog id and get by user id okay so let's create this uh, first is delete blog copy this stuff okay control z log and uh, yeah 
copy this and just do rename at delete blog so we don't need to take care like uh, uh take care like uh the uh this blog is present or not because we are implementing this feature for admin panel so 100 percent we sure that uh, id is present over there so we just need to get a blog id for this string uh, blog id okay and here we just need to pass this blog id okay and just write a delete by blog id okay then the, just copy this method again and just go down uh second one is get blog okay blog okay so here again uh, find by blog id find uh, by blog id okay yeah after that just copy this stuff and just go down and get blocks okay so uh, how much uh, one particular user how much the user is block is created so we need a list of blocks so return type for this is basically um, list uh, of blocks okay and here we need to return find by user id okay so and we need to pass a string user id okay just copy that stuff and paste over here okay let's see what error is coming uh okay uh, first we need to import a list okay uh java utils okay after that uh argument okay so we need to pass a pageable also to implement pageable stuff okay So we need to use um, we need to like uh, implement a paging functionality with a uh, sorting with descending order for that we use pageable we will discuss the uh, in details about pageable in when we implement a controller layer okay so what what are inputs required to implement pageable to particular this uh, this uh, method okay yeah so uh, we done with our block service so just do control shift format the whole code okay um, let's jump to uh, comment service uh, java utils comment service and uh, just annotate this with uh, service annotation after that um, just uh, call our a uh, comment repository okay repository okay and uh, annotate this with auto add okay after that uh, whatever methods we have we need to create so comments have overall four method one is add, add comment update comment after that a uh, delete comment and uh, uh, get comment with respect to blog id so the same functionality we have just copy these three method create update delete and get okay uh, and paste over here okay okay and we just mean to return so we have create comment okay the return type for this is comment okay after that the input is uh, comment and comment and here if you passing comment okay and just copy this stuff comment repository after that uh, just copy the whole stuff this method rename to update command okay so basically save method how save method is work okay so when you provide id okay as a primary key in your particular entity classes so 
this save method update the whole entity and when you not pre provide id okay or id will be null in that scenario he it will be create a new uh, entry for this okay so in update method we will append the id okay when we call a api and uh, for a create we are not appending a id okay uh, for that automatically new instance uh, new entry will be created okay uh, so delete comment we have comment is basically how uh, we need to delete with respect to comment id okay comment id okay and just pass this comment id over here copy this comment repository okay and just use uh, method sorry delete by comment id okay and just pass this comment id and return type is basically comment okay after that like we have get comments and we will return uh, like we we return with respect to like type blog id okay so return type is like list of um, comments okay uh and just copy the stuff and paste over here okay and we need to implement pageable also pageable okay pageable basically we like we are not giving pageable in an argument okay we we are preparing um in our service class but for now um we are just passing over here we update uh, this whole business logic when we creating controller class okay yeah so we will done with create comments okay then update comments okay then delete comments with respect to comment id and get comments okay with respect to a, a um, blog id let me update this um, variable name with properly because like we need to follow a proper naming convention when we doing our daily coding when like any other person like come and uh, check our co code so that person get idea like what exactly we are returning okay so it is important to follow best practices okay so yeah we done with our uh, block service layer and come in service layer okay so yeah that's it for uh, today's video uh, in next video we focusing on a controller layer okay where, where we Right, uh, write our DTO and all those stuff and design our controllers. Okay, if you have any question, please write down in comment. We will ad try to address that. And please uh, share with your friends and colleagues who have a uh, same tech stack. Please subscribe to our channel because in future videos uh, we uh, we integrate our whole this project with uh, Android uh, and uh, front end with Angular and Node.js, and uh, we implement uh, on automation testing also in that. So you get notification when we add a new playlist. That's it. Thank you so much.